Hi, I'm Mariam Azmi. You are watching Heart News. When we talk about angiogram, it is a common procedure done all over the world. To date, IGN itself has done over 4,716 successful coronary angiogram procedures. Looking at this as the leading heart specialist institution in Malaysia, IGN has introduced a new technology to enhance and improve this procedure. Let's find out more with Dr. Kumara, consultant cardiologist. So, uh, coronary angiogram is basically an invasive procedure. Uh, I mean, for patients who have uh, risk factors uh, such as diabetes, hypertension, or high cholesterol levels, those who are obese, uh, those who smoke or have strong family history, uh, these patients may come in as either an elective procedure or an emergency procedure. So, coronary angiogram is uh, an invasive investigation where a doctor puts in a, a, a small catheter, a tube-like structure, about two millimeters in diameter, either through the hand, where we call a radial approach, or through the groin, a femoral approach. Uh, the catheter goes into the heart, and uh, if you can see this picture, this is what the catheter looks like. We inject a dye, and then we take pictures in different angles. So as you can see from this video, the patient has undergone a coronary angiogram, and now a coronary angioplasty is going to be done. And you can see now the inner aspect of a coronary artery or vessel of the heart. And uh, these are calcium deposits within the lumen or the inner surface of the vessel. And buildup of calcium and uh, formation of calcified plaque or blockages will impede the blood flow in these coronary arteries, which may lead to clot formation. And patients may present with either heart attack or recurrent chest pain. So this is when the diamondback uh, atherectomy system is helpful. Uh, it works in a rotational manner, uh, it moves in 360 degrees, it has got a drill bit which what we call a crown with uh, very small, minute, uh, uh, 30 micron diamond bits attached to it. So as it moves at about 80 to 120,000 rotations per minute, it shaves off calcium from the wall of the coronary arteries. And there may be some concern as to what may happen to the particulate that has been shaved off. Uh, you know, there, it may cause what we call a distal embolization where it may go and block off small, small vessels at the end of the coronary arteries. But studies have shown that these particulate, the, the material that has been shaved off from this calcified plaque are so small that they are smaller than our white blood cell or even the red blood cell. So this does not really pose a danger and can be used very safely in most patients that require the use of this device. And once the, uh, the, the diamondback system has been used, a stent is usually implanted and uh, blood flow is restored and the patient would feel much better. As the frontliner in heart-related technology in the region, IGN has successfully conducted 22 Diamondback procedures until today. Thank you to the new Diamondback procedure. I am Mariam reporting for Heart News. Don't forget to subscribe.